Well, the bobby pin has been around longer than our grandmother, so why are many hairstylists trading this timeless hair tool for a needle and thread? Mirror Mirror host Rebecca Spera explains. Salon owner David Bamford isn't a fan of bobby pins. All of us have been at a wedding and like, you know, come midnight, everyone's hair's oh, coming undone. That's why he uses a needle and thread instead. Hair sewing is faster than the typical updo, lasts twice as long, but costs about the same. First, thread the needle and tie a knot so the thread won't slip out. Then tease, smooth out the top layers, hold it into the shape you want, and start sewing. So I'm going to go through just a couple of times to secure it. I'm going to push it through and to really secure each one I'm going to get the end of it and pull it in like a blanket stitch and that really locks it into place. You can already see already I can let my hand go and it's not it's not budging. Then add more pieces from the sides. So I'm going to just grab that and just loosely place it where I want it to go, find my, my needle and thread again, and just catch it into place and secure it with one or two little blanket stitches. Here we have her finished in under five minutes, nice and tight, it still has that nice loose look like you've dragged your fingers through it, and no pins. Once you have the hang of it, any hair creation is just a stitch away. This is Rebecca Spira reporting. You can catch all Mirror Mirror episodes on our Live Well Network. It's channel 9.3.